I wasn't sure if I should film today because I don't know if you can tell but I'm a little bit sunburned from over the weekend. Uh, I'm not going to get into a why. Um, but I was reading my tweets this morning and I read this article in the news and I felt like I needed to talk about this. So, so the article was about Stephen Collins, and if you are a Seventh Heaven fan, then you know that he played Eric Camden on the show. And the thing is, uh, what the headline read was that he admitted to molesting at least three different girls. Okay, so I have to admit, when I first uh, read this article, I uh, was kind of shocked. My That's my immediate reaction. I was shocked and kind of disgusted. Um, but the thing is, then I thought about it and I was like, it kind of reminds me of those like stories that we hear in the news about the Catholic priests that um, molest boys and I don't know, things like that. And I know it's a controversial topic, but um, I just thought about it and I was like, well, you know, this is one of the shows that um, I watched growing up too and I really liked and it definitely, just like the article, you know, said at the beginning, um, portrays this as a very family friendly kind of wholesome show that, you know, kids and young adults can um, rely on to always show you to do the right thing because of course it's, you know, very Christian centered. And so it may be, you know, very shocking or disappointing to find out, you know, the pastor on the show, you know, um, has this kind of behavior. Um, but the thing is, like, as people who are just reading the news, you have to understand that, like, you will probably never know the full story behind any situation. And I just wanted to say that um, in the article, it did point out that he admitted this information to his estranged wife back in 2012 in a therapy session. And then he didn't know that she actually filmed it. And now the police are kind of investigating. Um, and I feel like while I don't know him personally, obviously, um, it must have been a really hard thing for him to do to admit something like that. And it also made me think of Kelly Clarkson's song, Dark Side. You know how she sings about how everybody has a dark side and uh, talks about like if you're willing to love her anyway. Which I feel like what is most beneficial to him now at this time, well, it's already out there. It's out there in the public. Um, so people are going to be critical, people are going to be judgmental and have their thoughts about it, but maybe we should, instead of judging him, just pray for him and um, realize that, yeah, we don't know like how he grew up, his childhood, his background, um, like what led him to his behavior and we should just celebrate that he was a good actor and he played his role really well and um, that you know it's hard for anyone in the public eye to have like a dark side that's like revealed and just because he's in the pu public um, and he's an actor he's still a person too and um, we shouldn't be so judgmental and critical and right now like hopefully people won't respond with hatred and um, of course like he like he probably needs to deal with his um, behavior on his um, on his own in his own way and we shouldn't be shock so shocked that um, just because he played this pastor role on a TV show that he's going to be perfect and good. And I feel like a lot of pastors have that pressure that they have to be perfect. But in the end, they're still, you know, human beings like us. And, um, and it doesn't mean that they're not going to mess up and they're not going to have flaws. So... Um, we should just allow him to work on himself. Maybe he needs some more therapy. And, you know, I don't know what he needs, but, 
you know, and I'm not saying what he did was right, but it's just like a time for him to work on himself, to um, change for the better, and, um, but I don't really see a, re a reason to hate on him or be too shocked um, that he did what he did. Um, so, yeah, so that's all I have for you guys for today.